Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, thanks for tuning in to another video. This time we've got a vintage collection action figure review and uh, the obviously the title's given it away. Um, but if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do um, and give the video a thumbs up because that would make me happier than Luke Skywalker was when uh, C-3PO informed him that he'd managed to shut down all the garbage mashes on the detention level. Well, he, sh he shut them all down. Um, you know, remember how, Luke, how excited Luke was? That's how excited I will be if you hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. All right, <laughs> onto the figure. We're looking at the Power Droid VC-167. Uh, this one has just been on the back burner for me for a little bit. Um, and I recently sold some things, which meant I was able to finally bite the bullet on this one. Uh, big thanks goes out to goodiestoys.com.au. Um, yeah, he picked out a really good card for me, and he also gave me a bonus uh, one to open. There was a bit of a crease in the card, and, uh, you know, he doesn't like selling them. We've got this ever so slight little crease in them, and he doesn't like selling these to uh, to a people. So he, he knew that I'm an opener. Uh, he knew I'd appreciate um, an extra one to keep carded. So I'm going to crack this one open, and we're going to have a look. Stay tuned. All right, so here is the Gonk Power Droid. What a cool looking figure. I'm really, really impressed with this one. Um, this is, uh, he looks he looks quite nice, um, if I don't say so myself. It's a pretty funky looking little dude. Oh yeah, uh, this is only my second Gonk Droid um, in the vintage collection sort of style I don't have any other I do have the vintage vintage one and uh, another one which I'll show you very shortly now um, this one looks like he's got a couple of speakers and a beer can on top and the little gas bottle at the back it's a bit frustrating that they've put that printing right on his back end there um, that should have been on the feet which I think it was Rogue Quan he uh, pointed out that is a uh, date stamp to 2012. So it got me thinking. Um, here is the Gonk Droid from a three pack uh, back in 2012. And uh, if we pop his roof off, same. They're both entirely the same figure, they just have different hats. That just makes me think of uh, Smithers from the Malibu Stacy. Um, Simpsons episode like it's Malibu Stacy Malibu Stacy but she's got a new hat and Smith's like yep she's got a new hat <laughs> um, so yeah you'd be able to change him over and uh, you know it's the same figure underneath just with a new with a new head but uh, that's fine it's uh, still a cool looking addition um, undecided where I'm actually going to fit this guy um, I can't really remember where he's seen, whether he's on Moss Eisley. I'm pretty sure it is meant to be Moss Eisley somewhere. But I do like his little feet. He's got the little articulated say hips. <laughs> They're not really hips. And uh, ankles. Yeah, just some cool details. I like it a lot. Underneath too. You can see all these little inner workings, gadgets and stuff like that. So yeah, very short, quick review, but uh, one I wanted to do nonetheless. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Stay tuned for some more videos coming right up. Until then, may the force be with you. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get on it. 